Okay, hey y'all. So, um, I'm gonna kinda like vlog today so you guys can see how your soap is actually made. So you guys know Capture Lifestyles, but aside from Capture Lifestyles, we also have lifestyles of, uh, I'll say like natural beauty. And this is my section of the company, which is called Essential Essence by CL. So I make soaps, candles, body butter, scrubs, um, oils, and also candles. So I think I said candles twice, but okay, whatever. But um, so I just want to kind of like show you guys how I make my soap, well, the making of the soap. I won't give you guys like the ingredients or anything like that, because again, this is my business. But um, you'll see like what I put into the soaps and then also how the soaps are made. So you know like using my soaps, you know that these are authentic, natural, organic um, things that you're putting on your body. No preservatives, no additives, no synthetics, no detergents, all of this thing, all of these soaps that I'm, I actually make are actually, well my nature soaps are handmade, natural, organic, and it's very, very good for the skin, okay? so. Let me get my items and stuff together and then I'll get you guys later. All right, later. Hey, people, this is my stuff. Okay guys, so right now I have, let me move this light over some more so you guys can actually see behind me. Okay, so right now I have my oils. So um, this consists of olive oil, coconut oil, sapphire oil, um, castor oil. So I actually um, blended all this together, put all this in, and then let me go ahead and add this. So this is right now what I'm doing today is sea moss gel. I'm going to make a sea moss soap. Um, so I made the gel into an ingredient where once it connects with uh, the oil, it's going to be something called uh, uh, sap. Um, I forgot to say the word. Uh, saponification. Saponification. There you go. I'm sorry. Saponification. So I'm just going to actually mix this together. Oh, and then this is, if you can see it, this is the sea moss gel. So right now I'm mixing my ingredients together and blend them. So you guys, uh, with this, I'm not adding any type of colorants to it to uh, give it a different color. I'm just gonna actually pretty much add nothing into it, just my essential oils, um, which I'm gonna use orange and also patchouli. Um, that also does amazing for the skin. Um, I chose to do sea moss. Well, this is actually my first time doing sea moss, but I know sea moss has amazing benefits. Um, it has minerals that's amazing for um, your skin. Um, for those who have acne, um, this goes amazing for your skin. This goes amazing for your skin. Um, you don't necessarily have to use this as a facial soap. You have to actually use it as a full body soap, which, um, I mean, I would prefer to use it as, as a full body soap, you know? 
So right now I'm kind of like just blending everything in so I can get ready to, um, so I'm just using my train of thought right now. Um, I'm blending everything in so I can be able to, to uh, blend with my hand machine so I can be able to, it can come into a trace. And also when I make my soap, I also make sure I have, where's my goggles? Have my goggles on and also my gloves because the uh, light in this, the, it will burn your skin. Um, with my natural soaps, I do prefer my natural soaps because I love making them. Um, once the soap is actually completely cured, it doesn't, the lye is no longer in, the sodium hydroxide is no longer in the soap. Okay. So, these little things you see is, is pretty much um, the sea moss that wasn't actually gelled. So, that would be amazing in my soap. So, I just blend that up just for a little bit. Just so everything can actually you know become one okay and, uh, so this is gonna go pretty fast okay huh? So it's getting pretty thick. Um, I have to wait till it becomes trace. So I do have some herbs I do would like to put into me, so my thing. Can't tell you what this is either, but it's herbs. I'm going to also incorporate in this soap. So I do have my fragrance, which is essential oil. This is also, this is orange and patchouli. It does give, it's going to give it like a, a dark color, but that's fine because we're not even adding color in here, you know? Oh, so let me just say, you can actually find our soaps and everything online at www.capturelifestyles. llc.com for your soaps, candles, and body butters, and also you guys know we also do photography, so hit us up for that. I'm going to just blend this in. For this one, I'm going to make it uh, not a medium trace, but a full trace. And it's only because I want to make it cute up top. So I'm going to add just some more herbs and stuff up top to give, the, you know, the soap just, just a little, you know, pizzazz. Just something cute and something nice. Because this is, you know, just a simple soap. So I'm gonna actually blend a little bit. And this is just a blend just so um, the fragrance can go pretty much go everywhere. I'm sorry, the essential oil can um, can be spread out.
so any leftover I put over here for my sample soaps for my pop-ups This is kind of like the fun part for me because, oh, let me clean up a little bit. Because I'm kind of able to decorate the top. So, yeah. Um, Because this is my first one, please comment to let me know what I can do. Oh, let me fix it up. Please comment, look at me, look at me in my face. Please comment and let me know what I can possibly do what you guys would like to see for me to make um what fruits you guys want me to use what vegetable you guys want me to use and i'll be glad to do that um also if you have purchased um any of my soaps now or in the future you can always come back to my first video just to let me know how it does for you like i said all my nature soaps are made from scratch so like i said this one i'm using sea moss gel um that i purchased from a vegan store um we're, we're plant-based so i do i don't use any animal products or anything, anything that has animal in it um and the reason for me is basically because of what they put into the animals that I just rather not prefer to consume um, or put on my skin or shall I say my family skin for that matter um, I rather use all items from the earth uh, because we are from the earth <sighs> so so just know by using my items my products Whatever it is, whether it's the soaps, the candles, the body butters, um, just know you are actually using natural products. Um, I need a fork. So right now, I'm kind of gonna wait, and then something that I like to do. So right now I'm just mixing some herbs I have um, just to put on top. Um, my hibiscus flower and also some rosemary just to put on top of just for cute little decorations, you know, just to give my soap just a little pop, okay? seeing me do is kind of make a cute little design for my soaps I'm just trying to front over here as you can see so I I really don't like to waste soaps and that's only because my soaps are really really good not saying it because they're my soaps but if I wasn't making these soaps 
I would buy these soaps. That's all I'm saying, you know? What do they say? All oh, the ancestors have spoken to me, you know? So. I don't like to waste soaps. And then also these can be, uh, we also use these soaps, so definitely have no complaints in my soaps. So I continue to be happy about that, right? No complaints for my soaps. So I'm just adding some type of texture over here, just so I can place my herbs over here. That's it. So what I do here is I put as much as I can. And you see like my little technique. Because some is gonna fall off regardless. But it's okay, right? So, um, I won't, I'm not, I'm gonna let you guys, I'm not putting uh, my ingredients in the comment box. Um, this is something that I sell. I believe like in the near future, I am going to, you know, just make simple soaps that i just for fun that you guys can actually see. And I guess actually do yourself, but for the soaps that um, I pretty much make and I sell online, I won't too much give that much information. It's only because, I mean, I'm a business person and I do, my soaps do wonders for for my clients. Essence Boo. But the Boo is spelled Bow. So all my Essence Bows. So um, I'm not going to put that there. But yeah, know that. Um, check my website out, place an order, anything like that, and you'll see for yourself how how well my, my soaps and everything works. Okay, so pretty much right now, I pretty much just have to I don't know if you can see I have to kind of stick them in there so when I do cut them a lot won't fall out because I do want this to be a full top bar soap but um, I mean of course I can't be stingy because I know it's going to fall off but hey hoping that a lot of them do not so I'm just pretty much sticking them down in hopes that they stay stuck some type of definition in the soap. Look at the baby. 
Look at that baby. Just like for you. Just so you can see. Yeah, pretty huh? Yep, so this is the soap. And I'll let you guys know we're gonna cut it tomorrow, maybe the day afterwards. And you guys can actually see how it looks. Alright. Bye. So as you guys can see, I just made my see my soap and we're going to cut it sometime from now, a couple like maybe like 24, 48 hours from now. And we're going to see how it looks. I'm hoping that it looks good. I'm hoping that it's hard as I want it to be. And then we're gonna kind of like, um, not test it, but use my sample soap to test it because I just want to see how bubbly it gets, all right? So see you guys later, bye. All right, hey guys, so I'm back. So I was supposed to cut this yesterday, but unfortunately, um, had work in the AM, then went straight to do a pop-up, came back home, slept three hours, went back to work in the AM, slept for five hours, and now I'm up. So I'm going to decide to actually cut it now, which is two days later, but it's it's okay. So guys wanna watch me cut my sea moss up, okay? No, it's okay. All right, guys, so this is how the sea moss soap look. Remember, Did you guys see it? So gorgeous. You see all the herbs, and this is an unscented soap, so it's crazy because I added no, I added no essential oils in it, I added no fragrance in it, and it smells so good. Like, that's freaking crazy. So. What you smell is actually the sea moss and also the oils that are in the soap. So let me get cut in. So I place it down here because I, um, when I do cut it, I don't want none of my herbs or decorations on top to actually kind of cut the soap because then it's going to look ugly. So, and I had one earlier, so you'll see it look like this because I had already cut one earlier. Well, not earlier, probably like five minutes ago. So that's why it looks like this, because they're actually the same. So, okay, so now let's go. When I say this soap smells so freaking good, this soap smells so good. So usually I would use like the flat um, blade, but cause I need to kind of see the difference between my Yoni soap and this soap. I'm gonna add, a, you know, just a little uh, design on the side. Well, on, the, on both ends of the soap. So I'm gonna use my wavy cutter. Because my Yoni soap, they look like exactly the same. But, only difference, of course, is, is two different soaps. And then I put different herbs on top. But the herbs that are in the soap are pretty much the same. So they look alike. I am going to invest in a cutter one day. Well, this is a cutter, but a more expensive one where I don't have to cut one by one. I can actually cut one time and they're all gonna be cut. So that is definitely going to be on my get list because it actually saves me, listen, smells so freaking good. It's gonna actually save me time. And Lord knows I need all the time in the world. So remember tonight before, I'm gonna make sure I put a lot of um, the herbs on the side because when you cut it, some of the herbs that did not stick to the soap, they actually fall off. So I have to make sure that I have enough herbs on top where if some do fall off, you still have some here, you know? Look how pretty that is. 
Let me get a close up. Look how pretty that is. And then the when I have like just a little extra like this left, I pretty much um, save it for us to use so we'll know, you know, just how the soap feels. This is from the other uh, soap I cut, the same sea moss. And but what I am going to start doing is actually um, using these as samples um, for you know new clients um, that want to try the soap but don't really know what soaps to try. So um, soon these will also be on the website. Um, it's going to actually be five, like five different um, end soaps like this, and they're going to be wrapped um, where you're able to, to, you know, test out five soaps to see, you know, just which one you like. I know you pretty much love all of them, but you know, some people are skeptical, so and that's fine with me. So and that's it. So let me show you guys the finished products because I cut more than one soap. On um, one of them actually looks different because spray alcohol on top just to kind of have the herbs kind of soak in. And this one I didn't do that too. So you'll totally you'll see a difference in both, but they're both one and the same. So so this how the bars look. So you'll pretty much see a difference. And that's only because, like I said, this one I actually spray alcohol, but it kind of came on this side. And this one I didn't do anything to it. Um, but they're still the same. One is just, you know, cute little white on top. And I said, like, these things smell so freaking good. And it's, I didn't even add anything in it. No fragrance, no essential oils. I added nothing in it. And look how it looks. Oh my God, like, this smell is, like, amazing, though. I'm not saying it because it's mine, but you know, tell me the truth. That's it. All right, so you guys saw me make the soap, saw me cut the soap. Check my online website, buy the soap and see for yourself. But they are amazing. I'm telling you guys. So make sure you guys subscribe, like the channel, follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Check out our website. Everything is Capture Lifestyles, LLC.com, Facebook, Instagram, whatever. All right. Later, guys.